I think the big problem we have in Birmingham, it's happening around the country, actually. We have a lot of artisan coffee shops. <laughs> you know the sort of places I'm on about, like Shoreditch is full of them, kind of like distressed wood, that kind of thing. And they serve flat whites, and they'll say things like, we support local artists. And you know that, because the art on the wall is shit. <laughs> Dozens of Birmingham, they're all shit. Um, oh, no, there's one I quite like. There's one I quite like. I can't say the name for legal reasons. They do an avocado and feta smash. <laughs> a very aggressive word, I feel. For what is essentially pressing with a fork. <laughs> avocado and feta smash. And for one pound, one pound fifty extra, you can get a poached egg on top. It's a lovely way to start the day. I went in recently and I said to the girl, I said, I'd like the avocado and feta smash, please, with the poached egg. And she went, Oh, we don't do the egg anymore. <laughs> I said, why is that? And she went, the kitchen was struggling to cope. <laughs> when I hear the phrase, struggling to cope, I think of, I don't know, a single mother trying to juggle a career, childcare, heartbreak. I don't think of someone cooking a fucking egg. <laughs> so I'm boycotting them now, boycotting them. Oh, we've got a 24-hour Starbucks as well. Nobody asked for one. We've got one. The staff at 4am. Genetically closer to a moth. <laughs> I've only been in once. It was about 4am, actually. I got back late from a show. I thought I'd treat myself, have a hot chocolate. The guy behind the counter obviously couldn't cope with daylight or anything, because he's like, can I take a name? And I was like, yeah, it's Joe. Can I ask why? And he's like, just in case the order gets confused. I looked around an empty Starbucks. <laughs> along to the service counter. It took him ages to make it. And then he went, hot chocolate for John. <laughs> so to prove a point, I just waited. <laughs> John will be here in a minute, won't he? Oh, he loves a hot chocolate, ah, oh, John. 